Oh, now the Steven bomb's over. Now we have to wait for, like, bunches of weeks till new episodes. Even probably longer than that, I would fear. Having said that, though, uh, wow, this episode was, once again, another really just great story. So, God almighty, this was such a... This was a really good story. I... I really liked it. Um, it's a nice way to close out the Steven Bomb week. I think it had a lot going for it. I think it had... Uh... Uh... Wait, I... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh... <laughs> I think it had a lot in there and a lot of story and really makes you wonder of what's going to happen next for uh, Steven Universe on a whole. So the whole plot of the story is that Steven and the Gems are searching for uh, Lapis and Jasper again, Malachite, their fusion Malachite, and Garnet's starting to get worried that the longer that Lapis holds, tries to hold Jasper back, the longer, you know, she's going to lose control and be mentally out of it. She is just m gonna be exhausted. Just as the gems are, because they are just completely exhausted. They've been apparently searching for weeks for, uh, for Jasper. And, unfortunately, they have yet to find her. They, you know, they couldn't find her at all. And what happens is that Steven suggests a slumber party, and Garnet's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm out. I, I got, I'm gonna go find them. And, uh, uh, <laughs> leaving Amethyst and Pearl to have, you know, have this slumber party, and Pearl discovers the wonders of dream of sleeping. Yeah, this is the gem's first... Well, Amethyst has done this, but this is Pearl's first foray into sleeping. I think this is... I think this is gonna be a lot of fun to see where that's going to go if they're going to bring up the whole gem's dreaming again. Because we see J Pearl dreaming, and it's a very interesting dream. I will say that much. Yeah. However, let's get into the main meat of this episode. The main meat of this episode is that Steven is mentally making contact with Malachite itself. He's actually getting into Malachite's mind and actually making contact with Lapis, who is just getting worn down over and over again by Jasper. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So they believe that, you know, Pearl believes that this is a new gem power. And I'm really interested to see what other powers... Uh, <laughs> yeah, for, when you think about it, let me talk about this real quick. When you think about it, Steven's kind of like Freddy Krueger if he used his powers for good. Well, in hindsight, really, he's more like Sand... He's more like Dream from Neil Gaiman's Sandman. There, there's the better term. <laughs> um... Or, if you want it, for all my bronies out there, he's like... He's now has the powers of Princess Luna. Anyway... So, Steven is now able to use his dream powers, because they believe this is a new ability, not even Rose had. So I'm wondering if Steven's going to evolve more powers that Rose wasn't able to have. So I'm curious where that's going to go in the future. But yeah, Steven... Also, the dreams Steven have are hilarious. It's I especially love the 50s-style uh, dream with all of them together... with all of the gems together, and Garnet being the Foz was goddamn amazing. <laughs> so, anyway... Uh, well, what the hell was I going to say? Uh, with that being said, I th the, uh, the main bulk of Steven trying to find Lapis, and the future of Lapis, because Lapis actually doesn't want Steven's help, and now she's, being, she's forcing herself to be Malachite forever. Yeah, it's... Man, th this show knows how to make an em do emotions. It it does an amazing job at you know playing with one's emotions. And like I said, this episode was just really sad. If you're a Lapis Lazuli fan, like I am, if you really like Lapis Lazuli, uh, yeah, <laughs> you feel really bad for her. You just feel really bad for her because now, after a thousand years of being trapped in this gem, she has some major trust issues, but she still cares about Steven, and the whole point of doing this is for Steven, and Steven only wants to do his help. So this leaves, leads into the big question of what's going to happen in the future? We had the return of Peridot, and in the same week, we had the return of Jap Lapis and Jasper and their fusion Malachite, and I'm wondering, in the future... What is the future of the Homeworld Gems? Now, I'm in the... I could believe that they could go down the route of 
redem- of the redemption route, especially with Lapis first. Jasper would probably be the hardest to do. I think Jasper is the one that's going to be the one that if they do try to do a redeem arc with her, that's going to be a little t- difficult. Peridot as well, but I think the first one, if they ever decide to do the whole, you know, redemption thing, because the gems... Let's face it, Homeworld is gonna come back. Let's let's get this out. Uh, let's uh, let's get this out of the way. I th- Homeworld is gonna be coming back any you know sometime in this season or the next, and they're gonna be ready to kick some ass. So I think it would pay to help th- have the Crystal Gems have a little extra help, and not just from the town itself. I mean, it would be cool if Beach City helped uh, pitched in and fought alongside the Gems, but I think it would be nice to see like maybe at least Lapis or Hell Peridot on their side. Par- what Peridot did, now that I think about it, what Peridot did, if they were going to do a redemption arc with her, that might be difficult too, because what she did in the kindergarten. Yeah, what she did in the kindergarten, maybe like the gems will be like, uh, yeah. Do you know what you just, you know what you did? You can see why we don't trust you. <laughs> yeah, but if anything else, I'm really worried that maybe... When we get, we see Lapis and Jasper again. We see Malachi just a uh, go kaiju. That's this is what I'm thinking. The next time we see um, Jap- Lapis and Jasper again, what I'm thinking might happen is that you know Malachi, you know Jasper is going to finally get become the dominant personality and just get out, uh, just get out of the ocean and just go kaiju on Beach City. Maybe we'll get a Sugalite and Malachi fight. That would be awesome, right? If <laughs> we could get that. So, yeah, once again, really good episode, but I'm really sad that, you know, the Steven bomb has ended, and it felt really quick, didn't it? It, it To me, at least, it felt really quick. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys tell me, what did you all think of this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? And what do you guys think is the future of not just Lapis Lazuli, but also uh, Jasper and Peridot? Do you think they could do redemption arcs with them? Or do you think Lap- you think it- Peridot and Jasper are beyond redemption? Or do you think there's even can even Lapis have a redemption arc? But anyway, uh, really interested to see what you guys think of all this. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.